Young, attractive, and horny. What could possibly go wrong? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF Love Island moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the wildest, most shocking times from the hugely popular UK reality series that left us slack-jawed and, embarrassingly, wanting more. Number 10. Amber Shades Georgia When newcomer Georgia walked onto the show in Season 3 and chose to couple with Kem, she didn't expect to be immediately thrown into a war zone. After all, she was just playing the game and had to pick someone. Kem. But when Amber found out that Georgia picked her man, she wasn't impressed, to say the least. Not only did Amber berate Georgia, cursing at her and implying she's a bell end, but her anger intensified when Georgia tried to explain that she wasn't there to ruin Amber's relationship with Kem and was only playing the game. I could have gone deeper, like babe. So you're just going to try and make me feel uncomfortable the whole time I'm here. We'll see. In fact, Amber's immediate disdain for Georgia was so weird and off putting that some viewers felt sorry for the new arrival and tweeted out their support to her. I feel really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. Number 9. Scott loses it on Marlin. Jealousy is one hell of an emotion, but the lengths to which Scott flipped out on Marlin after she mentioned that his girl Caddy fancied newcomer Alex is something else altogether. She does find one attractive. What? She does find one attractive. She finds one attractive? Yeah. Alex. All the guys were a bit on edge when muscular Alex walked onto the show and caught all the ladies' eyes. But Scott seemed to be the only one who was actually threatened by Alex. Marlin, wait till a girl comes in here, mate. Well, you're dead insecure. You're getting it, mate. Big time. Trust me. Scott pretty much disrupted the entire villa in an effort to get Marlin to admit that she was trying to cause a rift between him and Katie. While cooler heads would prevail, with Scott eventually apologizing to Mullen, this scene left us wondering if Scott was actually super insecure and not the confident hunk he claimed to be. I'm sad there, man. more business. It's weird, Marlin. No, it wasn't I would weird. never do that to you. Number 8. John Clark's Proposal Sure, the contestants of Love Island say they're on the show to find love, settle down, and start a family someday, but really they're there to flit, snog, and shag their way into reality TV fame. I'm so happy we need to get one. Really? Yes. So when John Clark popped the question to Hannah Elizabeth, his then girlfriend of five weeks, he not only shocked the housemates, but the viewers at home too. Hannah. <sighs> Would you do the honour of the happiest man alive and marry me? Was he serious about marrying her? Or was this all a play to make it as the last couple alive? Well, the look on everyone's face when John popped the question seems to indicate the latter. A desperate power play. In the end, they didn't win the first season and they broke up shortly after. Come on, someone. Number 7. Terry and Emma make a porno. We're used to couples shagging under the covers on Love Island. What should be a shocking image has now become pretty commonplace. But when Terry and Emma started to get hot and heavy and ditched the covers, well, it was a pretty shocking visual, to say the least. I literally could not believe what I was seeing. Not only were the housemates shocked to see Emma riding Terry right out in the open, but viewers at home couldn't believe it either. It would be awkward enough to snuggle and kiss in a room full of strangers, but to throw caution to the wind and have sex? That's both incredibly ballsy and insanely stupid. Who comes in a villa and is literally adamant, I'm not going to have sex, I'm done, sir. Number 6. Marlin Confronts Terry After Marlin was kicked off the show, her then beau Terry promised he'd leave too and follow his one true love into the real world. Don't get upset. I'm coming anyway, it's fine. But of course he didn't. And he also ended up sleeping with Emma shortly afterward too. So the show's producer had a little fun with Terry and brought Marlin back for a cameo to tell her former lover exactly what she thought of him. Hello, boys. Oh my God! <laughs> What's going on? You're wow, right. 
To watch Terry squirm his way out of taking any responsibility for his past with Marlin after she's been watching him slag her off on TV and sleep with another woman is such an awkward, cringe-worthy moment that it basically turned our stomachs inside out. And we loved it. Basically, you've led me on for the whole time and now you're playing a game to it. Everyone can see it. Number 5. Katie Kicks Off at Tina When Katie was banished to the hideaway overnight, she had no other choice but to look on as her beau Scott went on a date with newcomer Tina. And after initially pouring her feelings out to Olivia, Katie turned in a performance that would have made Heath Ledger's Joker jealous. Have fun, yo! Seriously, watching her rant and rave, scream at Tina and others, and rub her ass up against the window really made us thankful that she was locked away for the night and that there were no knives present. Oh my god! Oh, fuck. Make it see us. Not only did she piss off the entire villa, Scott included. But she set Twitter ablaze with lots of hilarious memes of her psychotic behavior. But did she give a damn? Not even close. Why do you f watch this back and you apologize to me? She's a f lying piece of shit. I swear on my mum's life. Number four, Olivia and Rikard get naughty. What's so crazy about Olivia and Rikard getting their shag on, you may ask? Well, how about the fact that Rikard was already pursuing newcomer Rachel? while Olivia was making eyes with fellow newcomer Adam. Also, when Rachel asked Rikard if he'd consider sleeping with anyone while on the show, he flat out said no to her. But then he turns around and bangs Olivia while, wait for it, Rachel is in the bed next to them. And Rikard and Olivia are, <laughs> shut the front door. What? What's going on with these two? Despite claiming to just be friends, Olivia and Rikard apparently couldn't keep their hands to themselves, even though they fancied other people. They both vowed to keep their Trista secrets, but darn those pesky TV cameras recording everything. He's wrong with us. Number three, Terry and Mullen go wild. We already know their relationship didn't last from entry six, but you'd forgive us for thinking they were crazy about one another when they, you know, had sex with each other under a blanket in broad daylight with every cast member looking on in utter shock. It's the ultimate spectator sport. <laughs> oh, yes, that's good. Yes, couples snog in the same room, but it's always at night in the cover of darkness. Terry and Marlin, however, decided they needed an audience to cheer them on and rank their performance. That's unreal levels of kinkiness. Who needs the Euros when you've got this? Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how raunchy you like your reality TV, the couple couldn't perform an encore as Marlin was booted from the island shortly afterward. No, no it's not. No, it's not. We... Number two, Malia gets the boot. There's nothing odd about someone getting booted off the island. That's just part of the game. But it is pretty crazy when that evicted person just arrived in the villa less than 24 hours before. You okay, babe? Hey, babe, what was your name? Malia. Malia, nice to meet you. Oh. Yes, we're looking at you, Malia. She wasn't voted off, she was literally thrown off the show for punching Katie McDermott right in the face when the two got into a fight during Malia's first night on the island. Upon arrival, Malia made eyes with Katie's then BF Scott, and of course, Katie was none too pleased. No, so listen, listen to me I'm the sorry. first day. I've I'm let sorry. my guard down. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Like... So, in an effort to get to know Malia's intentions better, Katie chatted up the newcomer before accidentally spilling her drink on Malia's dress and subsequently taking a haymaker to the nose. No. Shut up, you dick! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Number 1. Zara Stripped of Crown Former Miss Great Britain Zara Holland didn't do anything the other housemates weren't guilty of as well, but she paid a very real price for heading underneath the sheets with Alex in Season 2. <laughs> <laughs> the Miss Great Britain organization stripped Zara of her 2015 title for having sex on TV. Claiming that they received an outpouring of complaints from pageant insiders and they could no longer promote her as a role model to young girls. The worst part about it was that Zara was still on the show when the news broke. 
and she burst into tears over the decision. Well, they've taken my title off me. <laughs> it feels so unfair that she was singled out and treated this way, but it's a stark reminder that nothing is private in the digital age. You know when you're in the moment, like, and it just happens? It was sort of like one of them. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.